So you're short on time. You've got final exams. The in-laws are coming. You need something intense, you need something quick, you want something efficient. Well, you've come to the right spot. I've got a 500 rep challenge for you today. So if you are a little bit shorter on time, do this challenge with me. It's body weight only, so this can be done anywhere, anytime, any place, even at your mother-in-law's house. All right, here's your format for today's workout. You've got 25 reps of everything. When it's each side, I'll give you 12 reps per side to equal 24, okay? Not 13 and 12. Some people can't handle that imbalance. 12 and 12, okay? Okay, make sure you take a quick look at the show notes below. It, the whole workout's written down there, and every exercise is only one, so it's gonna go really fast, all right? So make sure that you take a look so you know what's coming. And by the way, even it's not even the weekend, I'm wearing this sweater every day, all day. It's so soft, I just love it. Just jump to the number at the bottom of the screen if you're ready to go. All right, let's start with some leg swings here. Just wanna reach up, tap that leg to get those hamstrings a little warm. This, again, because it's body weight, you're gonna be doing some aggressive things. A few jumps, hops here and there, so we wanna make sure that we don't pull anything because uh, that would suck. Switch sides, <laughs> obviously, right? Am I crooked in the viewfinder? Maybe. Here we go. Get even here. It's a nice little kick. Now, with the follow along method, it's a bit tricky because it's not timed. Some of you said that you like that. Some don't. It's, it's all, it's confusing. Okay, uh, just first of all, we're just gonna do a front lunge rotation up here, okay? So, uh, back to what I was saying here. Basically, you follow along with me. If you wanna stay at the same pace with me, Go ahead and switch when I switch exercises, okay? Even if you didn't get the same rep range as I, but if you feel like you wanna get each 25 on your own, then just pause the video if you're not uh, at pace with me, okay? I know it's a bit tricky that way. It's easier with the timed intervals, but then we couldn't count reps and have a 500 rep challenge, could we? No, we couldn't, so. We'll just do this once in a while. Hey, if you missed my thousand rep challenge, I'm gonna throw the card at the top of the screen here. Make sure you put that in a playlist for yourself to do another time. All right, get down into plank position here. We're just gonna walk out, walk in, stretching and warming up those abs. And we've got a lot of ab exercises coming for you. Okay. Good, five more right here. Reach that hand, walk it back. Two more. And last one there. Woo. That works. Okay, let's go back to the swing right here. Same leg, we'll just go one more round. Get warmed up. So how you guys doing on your Christmas shopping? Do you buy gifts, do you do that? Um, our, my side of the family is gonna do this one exchange, switch sides. My sister organized it. Everyone has to buy a $25 gift. And she organized it on this app called Elfster, E-L-F-ster. I don't know if you've heard of it, I had never seen it. But everyone responds through the email and then you get, um, all right, front lunges. And then it puts your name in a little shuffle that shuffles it all around, ensuring that you don't draw your own name. And then it's a random, you know. Of course they think of that, right? I mean, someone can't just do that, put names in a bowl. No, nope, you gotta have an app for that. Anyway, it's cute. Then you can write down your wish list on there as well, so. Always thinking of the next thing. All right, five more here. Nice stretch opening that chest. Got some push-ups coming for you, but a little bit different than you're used to, so don't even think they're, they're normal push-ups. They're not. Three. Two more here. And last one. All right, let's go back to that plank tap out. Right here. And we'll get started. We'll just 
do 10 right here this time. Five more. Last one right here. All right, great, make sure your water's handy. Towel if you need, you don't need any equipment. We're starting off right now. You're starting with a lunge position tap out. So you're gonna front lunge to one side and then to the other. If you have a mat, it's nice because it's easy to follow along. All right, 25 per leg, here we go. So a little front lunge there. I'll count in tens again, okay? And uh, let you know where I'm at. So drop that back knee nice and low. This is gonna burn already. Here's 10. That's 20, last five here. Stay tall. Three, two, and one. That's kind of fun, kind of painful. Burns that back leg. All right, 25 on this side, let's do it. Please make sure that back leg is getting low to the ground, okay? You don't wanna just hop over this. You're lunging. Woo, 10. Twenty and five, four, three, two, and one. <laughs> yeah, that feels good. All right, let's get into a plank position. You're gonna walk your feet up onto the surface and down. Okay, so I'll use this couch. I'm here in plank. I'm walking up, up, down. That's one. Ready? Let's go. Alternate one. There's ten. Try to keep the bum down. Don't let it migrate too high. All right, here you got 20.
That's 10. Keep going. Doing great. Bum high. on a bench chair surface get nice and close to it because you're getting down super low I want that bottom knee to almost touch the ground okay you're gonna do 25 jumps per side ready low little jump there's 10 20. Oh, I'm tipping. All right, there's 25. Oh, that hurts. All right, switch legs, drop it low, little bump. if you can. Fifteen. I can't even. Twenty. hard for my legs. Okay, quick step if you need. Leaving the legs alone for a second. All right, going to a plank punch out. Plank position here, going to punch. Okay, 25 times in total. Here we go. Punch it out. Keep that core stable, like you're balancing a cup of water on your back. There's 10. Twenty, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. All right, you're moving to 25 tuck jumps. Break if you need, otherwise, let's do it. I just need to get those over with. Gross! Whew. Good job. Okay, front lunge, knee drive. Same side for 12. So, nice and tall, drop it down, drive up high. Okay, 12 each side, let's go. Drive, touch the ground with your back knee if you can. That's 10, two more. Oh, thank God that wasn't 25 aside. Ready? Here we go.
Oh, it's hard. Last one. Woo! Okay. Good job. Single leg. Walk out to plank. Cross one leg behind. Hands on the ground. Walk, walk, walk to plank. Only one leg is working. All the way back up. Switch legs. That's one. 25 here. No push up. So you could add it. Working core here, balance. This will take a while. Bring your bum all the way down. One more and that's 10 only. That's fun for us. Oh. All right, 15 to go. We can do this. Walking right up to play, come on. side. Get into position in three, two, pop it up. Here we go. Up and two. Good. A little bit more difficult than your regular side plank, eh? Woohoo! Yep. Two more this side. Up. Holy glute on the bottom side, Batman, eh? Wow, I didn't expect that. I like it though. Ready, work, up. Halfway. Two more. Up and 12. Whoa, that was hard. All right, stay down here. Sprint or sit up for 25. All the way down, opposite knee to elbow. Ready, here we go, for one. There's 10. Back up, 12 per side. Ready, let's go. Drop, twist and turn. Both 
Both elbows stay wide. Push through that heel. Come on. Here's 10. Keep going. This is 20. Last five. Now come on, work. Five. Drop your knee. Last one. Low twist. Nice job. I want you down in a plank position. Hand and toe. Right like this. You're going to come down to elbow, back up to hand. Same side for 25 per side, okay? Ready? Here we go. Elbow, push back up. Elbow, okay? Getting a lot of work on that other side. There's 10. that to my clients. Whew. Let's go into a single leg deadlift top, 12 per side. You're hinging at the waist, knee is soft. You're gonna hinge here, jump here, okay? Hold on to something that you feel like you're gonna fall over. All right, here we go. One, hop, two. Two more to the side. Good, switch legs. Not bad. Ten. Two more. And twelve. Nice. All right, getting down to scorpion. Plank position, you're gonna turn over, tap the foot, roll, roll, tap. Each tap is one. Ready, go. So that's one. Hand, hand, two, three. Second, 
going into a gorilla push up. So, you're down in push up position. I want you to push up from knees or toes, down, hit the chest. Okay, that's what a gorilla does. I don't know. Hey, I didn't make it up. Ready? I think I have to do something for my knees. My wrists are sore. Here we go. Push up, pound. this for a lot of people. It looks like this. Up, down, up, down. Okay? Just do jumping jacks if you can't get it. Ready? Here we go. One, two, like that. Add arms if you like. Ten. Twenty. And one. Very good. Okay. Going down into a windmill. Each foot is 25 times, so it's 50 in total. Bum is high. Okay, you're kicking the legs out to each side like that. Ready? Here we go. One. Three. Ten. Twenty. Three, four, five. Oh. Okay, last exercise has to be burpees. You've got narrow to wide. Narrow jump wide. No jump at the top, okay? So it looks like this. Narrow wide, stand, 25, in three, two, let's do it, here we go. Tight tummy, one. I want you to stand all the way up. There's 10, let's go. That's 20, five more. Then you're done. Four, come on. Three, two, oh. Yes, 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 you move daily. What a great 500 rep challenge. That made me a little bit sweaty. I'm gonna be interested to see how long it was. Obviously you know now, but I, I didn't time it, so I'm not sure where we're at, but I like that. It was quick and I feel like I worked out, so it's good. All right, let's lie on your back. Bring your knees to bend, arms are out to the side. Let's let those legs gently fall slowly to one side. You can look to the opposite, stretching that torso there. Bring the heart rate down. Whew, that was lovely. This working out feels so good. I just love the endorphins, the after effect, the afterburn. Everything you feel afterwards is amazing. Too bad we can always remember that going in, right? Switch sides. 
turn slow, slow, slow. I've talked to a lot of people lately who have newly launched their career of working out, not career, but you know, a lifetime of changing their habits to working out. And it's always interesting to me to see the people who actually can make a go of it, to sustain it for the long haul, for a lifetime. Because it's not everyone, is it? I've had many, many clients who have started with me, straight leg, grab behind, flex the foot. And they haven't continued, and it makes me very sad because you know the benefit, you know with their mouth they want to, but for some reason, they just can't make it stick for the long haul. We talked about this the other day, really developing your profound reason, right? Why? Um, I think another part, to switch sides, is that we really need to work on increasing discipline in our lives. And that's not willpower. Discipline's a bit different. It's, it's doing the same thing. It's, it's having a daily routine. It's committing to something day in, day out, whether you feel like it or not. Right? And uh, what I found helps, come to seated, is a couple things, and I'm gonna list this below so that you have some resources. Bring your feet together. Well, two things. Number one, I've listened to a lot of Mel Robbins. Have you heard of her? She's kind of like a self-help expert, and she has a theory uh, called 54321, just do it. So I'm not gonna explain it all today because I don't have time, but um, I'll, I'll, I'll link her below and a couple of the YouTube videos that would explain it better. The basic premise is, before your amygdala can stop you, freeze, flight, fight, it allows you, that backwards counting allows that prefrontal cortex to come online and help you to make rational decisions that are going to benefit you, right? So, I don't feel like working out today. Five, four, three, two, one, I just do it. You just don't even think about it. You just kind of have everything set up in place so that you can just do it. Bring our leg across right here. Um, another person that I've been listening to a lot of in terms of setting routine, being very structured with your routine, and ergo being successful, um, is Tom Bilyeu. He's on YouTube as well, and you can find him in those links below. Um, he's got lots of experts, people who are very successful in their fields, and a lot of the times it's because they have a very diligent, um, strict routine for themselves. And so in fitness, to change your life here, that's the same thing, right? It's going to require um, a concerted effort of daily movement towards your goals. And, and, and sometimes, you know, little things get in the way, but that's where you have to create a structure and, um, and strategy of a schedule that's going to help you do that. So that, you know, when you don't have the greatest sleep, you still actually get up and do your thing because people like us do things like this, right? Says Seth Godin. Let's round through the back, stretch here. And if you want to be a person who's fit and healthy, look what fit and healthy people do. What do they do on a daily basis? Um, I had this great story a couple years ago. I maybe have shared this, but it was a, a client of mine. I wrote a blog about it, and she said that was fine. I changed her name. I called her Cocktail Kara. <clears throat> so actually, if you Google Cocktail Kara Tracy Steen, you could read the blog. She said to me, I don't want to be known as the lady who has cocktails at 4 o'clock every day. And that's who I am right now. That's who I am to all my friends. Oh, Kara's going to have a cocktail at 4. Let's go hang out with her. Let's call her for a drink of wine on a Tuesday night. She's like, I don't want to be that. I want to be someone who says, hey, my fit friends want to hang out. Uh, hey, I want to go for a hike. Let's call Kara. She's like, that's who I want to be. And so slowly over the years, she began to change her identity and believe that she can make a change. But it really took a lot of scheduled, concerted, intentional, routine-like effort. Okay? It was discipline. It disciplined herself to say no to every time someone would call for a drink. It disciplined her to say yes every time I said, hey, I'm coming to train you at 6 a.m. So anyway, I encourage you to migrate towards that. Arms back, thumbs down. And uh, because that's what's going to make you feel better. That's what's going to help you live longer, right? And you'll feel good in your skin when that's the person that you become. And it's due, larger part, to discipline and effort. Check those links below. And let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know what you thought about this workout in the comments below. What was your favorite exercise? 
which is one that you didn't like the most. Let me know that too. All right, for that thousand rep challenge, if you want something a little crazier, go ahead or click and tap the screen right there. Don't forget to subscribe right there. I'll see you guys in the next video. This is only, <clears throat> ah!